Well, Strict as Parents is a TV show where unruly British teenagers get shipped off to other countries and have to live with some of the world's strictest parents under their rule. I watched three episodes of this show with three of my friends and we had to take a drink every time there was an argument. Enjoy. Alex, today we're going to be watching an episode of World's Strictest Parents and drinking every time there's an argument. Oh my god, that's going to be every minute. <laughs> yes. Who refers to the Caribbean as the West Indies nowadays? That's what they refer to it as in like the 1800s. This video is in 4x3, so this was what, <laughs> made in 1945? <laughs> That's not in Jamaica. What are you talking about? It's clearly very authentically Jamaican house. 16-year-old Charlotte Hart is beyond her parents' control. Yeah, she looks mental. Obviously, they've been drinking. Oh, bloody hell, they've been drinking. What? They left me to clear up all their mess. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's so much mess. She's basically <laughs> left the house ransacked. <laughs> on at me all the time. Just for nothing, really. Actually, that wasn't nothing. You left two glasses and two bowls in your room. So that's not nothing, is it, really? I would have got the cane for that. She just walks all over me, doesn't yeah. she? She's got no respect for me. None whatsoever. So we're shipping her off to Jamaica. Permanently. Oh, my kid had a little glass of wine. Ship him off to Jamaica. With a camera crew. So I want to document their misery. Charlotte's parents feel powerless Oh, my to God. She smokes, George. Oh, my God. She's smoking with boys. Modern version of this is like somebody with an elf bar. And I think this is probably the cooler version. Yeah, this is way cooler. A group of teenagers sat around with an elf bar. Like, it's not intimidating, is it? Whereas, back in the day when you saw a group of teenagers just with a with a cigarette, you knew they were up to some hijinks. Exactly, you knew they were scary people. If Charlotte wants to answer her phone in the class, she will answer her phone. How do you know? Are you there? Report card, I'd assume. What did you call the teacher last time you had a row? Bitch. That's unruly behaviour. Ship her off to Jamaica, I say. Yeah, sticks and stones may break my bones, but you're going to Jamaica forever. Goodbye. Brighton? Wow, James oh Marriott God. lives there. I'm the reason why everyone argues. I'm the reason why everything is bad since Dad buggered off. To be fair, if Brighton was a person... <laughs> 17-year-old Sam Northage is an angry young man. He's 17! What are they feeding people in Brighton? It's the sea air. I do value you. The fuck has he got in his ears? Hang on. One of the seagulls he's carved down on the beaches <laughs> of... <laughs> Of the pictures of Brighton. I care a tremendous amount about you, and I am just trying to be a mother. All right, you can turn the cameras off now. I fucking hate you, and we're sending you to Jamaica. <laughs> I've never, ever, ever wanted to be with this place. Right, to be fair, that's me when I went to Brighton. I feel at the moment it's like a volcano inside Sam. I don't want a beer, I want to be in chalk. Let me go to chalk, <laughs> mum. <laughs> I want to be in shot. prison. It's Wednesday. It's student night. Let me go to prison. I'm 17. I can get in. I stand up for myself and I don't just bend over and take it. Sorry. That's <laughs> ironic for somebody in Brighton. <laughs> <laughs> my mates, I would consider to be my real family. Oh, shut up. These guys really are my real family and not the people who are just... Me reminiscing on the Among Us crew at the beginning of lockdown. <laughs> the Among Us crew. Everybody I've played Among Us with, they're my real family. <laughs> my parents wouldn't understand. Sam and Charlotte will be spending a week in Jamaica. Why Jamaica? A week? That's just a holiday. Send them off for six months. The worst bit will be the flight. I think it'd be wonderful yeah. if he could come back. With a Jamaican accent. <laughs> It really livened up the house. Really good time, okay, don't they? Sorry, what the fuck was that? Did you get a word of that? I don't know why they kept that bit in there, just muffling the mics. <laughs> Heartwarming goodbye. Sort herself out and realise there is more to life than arguing. No, there's not. There's not more to life than that. That is what life is all about, arguing. And what, and they're going to find this in Jamaica for some reason? I guess because the parents are stricter over there. Central Jamaica where they'll be staying with the Rose family. Every show from like 2006 has this song in it at some point. It's like their, um, their sneaky snitch, you know. Which way are you going? Come this way! Fucking hell. The Roses believe in physical punishment Sorry. for children. Oh, right. Is a wild horse, it can be tamed. It can be tamed, yes. It can. His eyes are scaring me. <laughs> he is a scary bloke. <laughs> in this, he basically just said he beats his kids. And he's been staring at the camera like wide-eyed the whole time. Has it actually sunk in yet that you're in Jamaica? Yeah, it's not a holiday, is it? I know it's not a holiday, but it's Jamaica. Not a holiday, is it? <laughs> wow, what some insightful commentary we've got here. Jamaica is famed for its beaches and party atmosphere. As you can see from this pitch black shot of a car. <laughs> As you can see from this family that beat their kids. It's a beautiful, picturesque lifestyle. And everybody's happy here and has a good time. It's just a scene of him going... <laughs> 
Charlotte is bunking with Davia and Devine while Sam has a room to himself. Lucky bastard. Is that all right if I nope. have a cigarette? No, nope. we'll not do. Smoking is a no-no. No, no. We only do elf bars and Lost Marys. They gave him the first elf bar and he took it back through customs and that's how it began. To be entirely honest, I'm willing to take any punishment they want to give me for smoking. <laughs> he's willing to get the fuck beaten out of him. He does not know what he's asking for yet, does he? He does not realise. <laughs> We're going to strap you to the machine. <laughs> They just have like a torture chamber in their house. There's no way I could have Sam under this roof looking like that because he doesn't look like a normal child. <laughs> what a lovely thing to say. Hi, the Sam. teams have arrived at the Good weekend. Morning. They're not giving me any respite. They're jet lagged. Allow them. Yeah, they've got a TV show to make though, mate. We've got seven days okay. to run them through their bases. If you use it or move it, put it back. If you do all these things, this house will be trouble free. But if not, you're getting the belt. There's dress code as well. Dress code in the fucking house? As if it's school or like a fancy club. You've got to wear smart shoes, black jeans and a shirt. Your shirt must be tucked in underneath the blazer and your tie must be a certain length. Sam, those earrings have to go. Like, um, I don't know if either of you have got any piercings. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Wow, that felt like that is. Fucking stare! That felt like it went on forever. Our kids call us mommy and daddy. We're expecting you guys to do the same. That's fucking weird. Oh that's, my that's god, that is that for, is strange. For seven days having to having to call a random man daddy. I tried this with my postman. I was like, you must call me daddy <laughs> when you come to my house. And he has stopped delivering my post, actually. Yeah, I tried it with a guy who's fixing my internet and he, he refused. He tried to call me sir, but I, I, I did tell him I only answer to daddy. The name dad. Mm -hmm. I promised myself that I would never use that word again. <laughs> Like Voldemort, what? He must not be named. This counts as arguing. He's not like arguing, arguing, but he yeah. is arguing. This family is pretty much nuts. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong, is he? I didn't think going into this show that I'd side with like the problem children, but he's fucking right. I always <laughs> side with the kids of these. Uh, if you've watched enough of these episodes, they pretty much never really have done anything horrifically wrong. They get treated so weirdly. I just don't want a baby. It's the first time Charlotte's been away without her parents. <laughs> and they've sent her to Jamaica. That's a bit far, isn't it? With like a random family. She could be crying to um, say what? Well, I'm gonna manipulate them. What? I'm gonna be even firmer. Oh, that's good. If your kid is in distress, you just shout at them more. Since losing his belief in God a year ago, they're gonna sacrifice him. I'm not gonna Sam, be going into your church to is... worship your God. This goes on Reddit once. Oh, fuck <laughs> atheism mods. <laughs> Which is a Ricky Gervais stand up once. You should go and worship and you should go and I enjoy No, yourself. no, no. You don't tell me what I should. <laughs> this is an argument. Fuck it. Why not? Yeah, that is an argument. <laughs> I like this guy. He's just he's just so calm, but his delivery on everything is so perfect. The Sam, don't walk away from me. If I was Sam, I'd start pretending that I was possessed by the devil just to see how everybody reacted, because I think they would kill him. <laughs> they probably would, yeah. You don't have to have cigarettes. You yes, can I have do. a sweet. Excuse me, little girl. Have you ever tried a cigarette? <laughs> Would you like to try one? Uh, yeah, have a with me, mate. Come on. <laughs> Let's get you started. Have you ever tried an elf bar? It tastes like double raspberry. Have some of my lost berry. I don't have any sweets. I'll buy it tomorrow. Oh, that's These sweet. are gummy bears. These don't have any nicotine in them. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> idiot child. How could you not know that, you fucking dummy? If you continue like this, you'll be in bed for seven o'clock. <laughs> you'll be in bed for seven o'clock. I'll be fine with that. Sleep away the holiday. That's really nice. Oh, cheers to having an argument. Like a 17 you're not 17, you're 27. Stop lying to the TV to crew. He's done this a snack of free holiday, hasn't he? You know how like people used to fake their age back in like World War One to, to get signed up to the war? He's just done that with this. He's sent to bed early. <laughs> he's almost like he's in prison. That's not a real sound effect. I know, I was about to say, that's, the, that's just stop cricket sound effect or MP3. Uniforms are obligatory. <laughs> In the fucking house? He looks a bit like Paul Breach, doesn't he? It's the beard, isn't it? Sorry, are you doing that, I know I look really funny, but for fuck's sake, look at you. <laughs> 
I think that's the first like <laughs> set of words she said in this entire show. It instantly shut down. He bullies her. <laughs> wow. Point of school. If you not, if you don't want to learn, then I think you should. Like some people would prefer like going to work and stuff. Right. Yeah. But what do you, what do you need to do before you go to work? Yeah. But she's actually gone on to you know she started a YouTube channel, right? Did you know that? Oh yeah. She is the annoying orange. She plays the annoying orange. Oh, wow. Really? This really goes to show that you don't need qualifications to be successful. You can go on to do stuff like the annoying orange, a Call of Duty gameplay commentary channel, or you can be meme. <laughs> the thing is, this is the days before TikTok Live and OnlyFans. Everybody has potential to make money nowadays. Back then, it, the only option was like work at Tesco and uh, and like win the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, that was it. <laughs> yeah. The teen's first task is to write a poem and an essay beginning with the line, Jamaica is... To write a poem that starts with Jamaica is. Yeah, so Sam's is going to be... Jamaica is well crap, I want to go home. Jamaica is bad, I'm very yeah. mad. I'm very sad they won't let me wear my earrings. Is what is required of you. Why? You can't force me Listen to do to me. it. Listen to me, I cannot force you to put your pen to paper. No, this is an argument, why not? Why wouldn't you just do it, though? I think she's, she feels as though she's not getting enough screen time. Like, Paul Breach has been taking it up. Well, you can't make me do it. I don't think I've ever... You know, have they won every single trophy in Jamaica? How many trophies do they have in, in that office? Is that the bobsled team? <laughs> I get that. It's a reference to Cool Runnings. Eventually, commits her views on Jamaica to paper. Jamaica is well hot. Got bit on lot... Bit on. Lots of time. Got bit on. B I T T O N. Lots of times. Bugs and stuff. Fucking hell, Oscar Wilde couldn't write something as good as this. Fucking, Fucking hell. hell. Didn't write what was meant to write. I just remember how I felt. I've been well bit and it is so hot. I've been sweating loads. Wearing his hat, everyone thinks I'm a rascal. <laughs> no, they don't. The fact that what she wrote was unacceptable. And you know, this school does not put up with it. What are they going to do, though? They're going to put her in, in the, the brazen bull. And in your annoyance, you thought of hurting somebody else. But in the end, it was your reputation that got hurt. It's a piece of paper. Yeah, but you don't know what she wrote on that. It could be bad. Yeah, you're not wrong. I want attention. No one would really talk to you about it. Probably happen again. But he'd like to talk to you and make you realise what you've done. Cheers for that insight. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't said anything remotely interesting in this in this entire episode. And that's why every I think all schools should be in like Jamaica. <laughs> what would happen if I like was lived and like brought up here and I like, like and your mum was my mum as well and I come home and said, Look, I've got a boyfriend. What? If I end up having a problem, child, I at least want an entertaining one. This one's so fucking boring. Well, so what hypothetical what So I bet if I grew up in Jamaica and like we switched like parents and that and like we're You know how like I'm English, but like try and imagine I'm Jamaican now. <laughs> imagine I'm not me but I'm someone else. Do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Twenty. Twenty? Isn't she like sixteen? Where is the safeguard in here? What are the parents doing? Are you allowed to go to the, your boyfriend's house? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he lives in his course, sir. He makes Minecraft videos. Are you sexually active? Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> That's a very Bloody formal hell. way of asking. Yeah, you don't even know this person. Devin want to know if he uses a condom. What the fuck is this? What, what are we is watching? This? What the fuck is this? What are we watching? A very interactive session this afternoon, and I know it's something that is on everybody's lips. Do you reckon these lessons are just like, you know, like when Ofsted would come in and they prepare like an extra special lesson for you? Yeah. Tutored in the art of safe sex. Here, the message is more simple. The only safe sex is no sex. Too right. Stop now. Stop, no. He's touching you. You are going to say, stop, no. What? <laughs> what are we watching now? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are we watching? He's touching you. What? Are you are you together? Is this a consensual thing? Uh, uh, so many questions, George. Is this how our bodies can be tampered with? Okay, I can't even show that. His penis burns. Okay, well, you can hear the audio of this. And you can <laughs> I think you have tremendous ability, tremendous possibilities. But it's a little bit hard to believe when the only people who have actually ever said that to me all live in Jamaica. What does that mean? <laughs> what? Sorry, but frankly, Jamaicans, I don't care what we have to say. If you were British people, it would be different. Not once has anyone ever said that I'd actually be able to get an A. Well, stay in Jamaica then. Don't actually have the ability to you do so. No, don't say that. Oh, they're actually really nice to him. I don't need some teacher who's met me for two days telling me she knows me. Yeah, fuck off! Yeah, you dare compliment me? Fuck off, do one. Why aren't I? 
get in as good grades as the smart geek with the ridiculous glasses. What? Who is he? Is he talking about you? No, obviously not, because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not smart. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, know, I don't have ridiculous glasses. My dad basically uh, was a genius. Uh, he was uh, one of the it? smartest guys. He loved me very much. <laughs> yeah, was he, Sam? <laughs> That's why he left. I don't want people to think I'm smart. I don't get told that I have to achieve up. I think you're deep in it. He seems to be deeping everything. Like, he wouldn't call the guy daddy because, uh, I don't know, it was a sacred word to him. He doesn't like being complimented because he likes feeling stupid. He's just an attention seeker. It's a little bit different weeding a farm than weeding a garden. If it suited me, I'd do the garden. I would do it if I was getting quite a bit of money for it. Fair enough, mate. We can just yeah. go to Tesco's and get... I don't know, whatever they're growing, a tomato. Yeah, whatever they grow in tomato and Tesco. <laughs> just go Tesco, just get whatever we're growing, I don't even pay for it. Just take it. What do they grow in Tesco? Tomato. <laughs> uh, tomato, <laughs> Thank you. Fuck you. Yeah. She had to pause to think of one vegetable. The Roses also raise chickens for slaughter. And as a reward for their work, the teens are given one to take home. <laughs> what the fuck? Nice. Give them one to chicken. take a red chicken back on the plate. As a reward, that's a burden. <laughs> Just snaps its neck. <laughs> just bites its head off. The only problem is, first, they have to kill it. Oh, right. So they're not, okay, they're not taking it home live. I thought they were Look taking it. Look at the paws, mate. <laughs> it's not hard. It's not hard. It's not hard. Oh, my God. <laughs> the fucking chicken's just sat there. This isn't how you get chicken in Tesco. Thank you. <laughs> this guy's mental. Nice hot weather, uh, rasters, smoking spliffs. It ain't like that. The real Jamaica is... So, so difficult. He was expecting everybody to be Bob Marley or something. <laughs> he probably was. I have something for you. This is a letter from your mum. <laughs> she hasn't gone a few days. She must have sent the letter before she left. Yeah, for to get to Jamaica. It's very peaceful at this end. And that has been very healing. It's been very peaceful at this end. What, for the five minutes he was out the door before you wrote this letter to get it to him? We are in great need of peace and so please stay in Jamaica. <laughs> I've extended the holiday by another two weeks. <laughs> I phoned up the Home Office and told them you're a terrorist. <laughs> and they will not be letting you back into the country. You're just saying that she really doesn't like the way that I've been back home. Was that a surprise? You literally said it at the start of the fucking show. Was it a surprise when you got sent to Jamaica? Did you not take it how seriously she wanted you away from her? <laughs> Did you think she just wanted to send you on a nice little holiday? I want my mum to like me. <laughs> It shouldn't be funny, but it's very tall. <laughs> What's the talk about that? What the fuck are you saying? I want my mummy to lie. Please. The other side of the island, who they want Sam to meet. His father also walked out on him. Well, they've taken him to just a bloke on the other side of the island who's, who's dad left. Makes my face look really, really good. <laughs> I thought it weren't that good, but it makes it look pretty good. We've just gone into his house gone like, your house is well shit. I thought my house was well shit. Your house is well shit. It's, I know it's been blown down by hurricane, but it's still well shit of the mine. I used to be a Catholic, but I lost my faith. I used to believe in God and all that. But. And then I watched uh, Ricky Gervais Supernatural and I just he, he made some great points. I think that God put me here for a special reason. Well, actually, I don't believe in God. Um, and uh, have you ever questioned your faith? Have you ever watched Richard Dawkins on the BBC or whatever on <laughs> Question Time? Then you would know that you're wrong. <laughs> I've only been there a week. That I can open up and talk to people about how I feel and... Like, listen to what they've got to say as well about stuff. All right, yeah, nice. Cheers. Wow, that was insightful. That made me rethink my philosophies. <laughs> they got a big welcome. They've been away for probably like six days. Someone who loves me very much went to Jamaica. And got That's maybe the most British shift ever. <laughs> Bring back an ashtray. <laughs> oh, you look fantastic. He's got a, a hat now and his hair, hair is longer. He was always edgy. There was an edge about him and he... He was on Reddit. He would be making commentary videos in his room. I think it was just the right time. For, for him to have an experience like that. Well, that's the end of that. That was truly signed, George. On to the next episode. Oh, I like the red shirt. That's going to be good for my thumbnail. Yeah, no, I, that's exactly why I wore it. I'm not even joking. What, for my thumbnail? Yeah, I fully... Because I've <laughs> seen you recolour my shirts like bright purple and shit. And I was like, all right, you know what? I'm just going to put on a really vibrant shirt for him today. Thank you for the consideration. It's all right, George. It's all right. Well, Jack, today we're going to be watching an episode of World's Strictest Parents. Ah! George, I'm going to get so... Ang you know how angry I'm going to get? They're going to piss 
piss me off. I Why? don't like, Do you, not when like par- par- you don't like parents. No, it's not I don't like parents. I just don't like it when they they just get all up in your business, George. They, they get, get all up in my get. business and tell me what I can do and what I can't do, and it just pisses me off. Jack, you're like 21 years old. Yeah, and, and yeah, exactly, George. What, and here they are getting in my business. That's what's wrong about it all. And this is uh, the Alabama family episode. So I don't know. The mum might be the sister or something. <laughs> I didn't even think of that angle. I completely <laughs> forgot about Alabama. Oh, this will be a good one then. Yeah! Yeah! The last one was set in Brighton as well. That's my ends. I live there. That's my house. I mean, that's not my house, but you know. Where are you going? To a pub. To a pub? Yeah. Mm, okay. You're allowed to drink in a pub. Bye. Huh? Are you allowed to drink in a pub near me? You're old enough. Obviously, she knows I'm old enough to drink in a pub, so why ask? Oh, she's not old enough. I just assumed she was and she was being weird. Do you think they're going to send like a 20 year old off to live with like another family to learn discipline? You know the level of confidence she said I'm going to the pub with? I was like, well, she should be allowed. I didn't consider the angle that, yeah, people can just lie. 16 year old Naomi Fisher's blatant defiance of the rules has left her mum powerless to control her. Taking away, um. iPad. Money. No more Angry Birds for you. Naomi. Fucking hell, she's smoking as well. No. Ah, oh, I mean, this is this is from the 2010s. You know, she'd be vaping if it was Mate, today. Mate, you think this is from fine. the 2010s? It's in four by three aspect ratio. All right, maybe the, the early 2000s then, George. Maybe the early 2000s. Oh, George. Yes. What are the drinking rules? You didn't tell me. Oh shit, yeah, drinking rules. Every time there's an argument, I've got a drink. Every time there's an argument, you've got a drink. And he says him because I am on the waters. Yeah. I am. I'm. He's, I'm having he's a, a rough pussy. day. He's hung over. I, I went crazy last night, and there wasn't even a drinking game. I just thought, you know what? Fuck it. You knew you had a meaningless recording the next day, so I don't know why you drank the night before. These are your duties, Jack. Could you give me a time, please? Three, four, five. How about two o'clock? No. Yes, please. No, mum. Sixteen years old is taking a bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say during the day. Pre-drinking, planning on being out till like five in the morning and pre-drinking a whole bottle of wine at sixteen is wild. That's a classic British view there, mate. <laughs> Spends all of his spare time. Oh my goodness. So what? What the fuck am I looking at? Spends all of his spare time on his computer. What? Doing what? This is just a blank web page with a large image of a boy in his pants. Goes online every day until the early hours of the morning and has put some fucking clothes on Ross. How about that? Ross will gradually get more and more verbally abusive. Why does he seem proud of it? He's coping. He's like, this is okay. This is okay. A year ago, 16-year-old <laughs> Ross came out to his parents as gay. I have found boyfriends through MySpace. Found quite a couple. Yeah, see, MySpace, Jack. MySpace. So this isn't the 2010s. No, this is like no, yeah. All right, all right jo- jo- I just, uh, you know, it was arbitrary, right? I just, I'm just, it's earlier than now. He will go and meet people who he's only met through the internet. We just have to hope that he's being sensible. He would hate our job, George. They didn't know what we were going to become. Nice and sexy pants. I'd give you one. <laughs> what? Excuse me? <laughs> Sorry? And one, right, he's he's not old enough, I don't think, to be doing all that on the internet. Two, who is dropping game like nice and sexy pants? <laughs> Mate, you need banging up if you're telling people nice and sexy pants. You're wrong. You're very wrong. Who cares? Jessica is 10 years old. She why is. Should she be, no, she doesn't. And why should she be subjected to continuous swearing? Argument. What, would you talk to your mother like that? You got a drink. I would and I do, Jack. Live up to this image of being this nasty, sort of bitchy guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that made me go, oh, God. I don't think you should say that maybe. Written 20 years ago was a very different place. British television is what I'm, uh, is, is the main thing. You know, you remember like, like fat families and shit? I mean, oh, that, yeah. I love fat just, families. It was just like a man used to go to a house and go, fatty bum bum Sarah. Like it was like <laughs> fucking, whoa. Like it was just so uncalled for. He'll say things like he would love nothing more than to sit there and watch us burn and die and be in <laughs> I don't think that's because he's a bitchy gay. I'm going to be honest. I that's because he's fucking evil, man. When I go to college, I expect then you to pay me £31 a month for a bus pass. It doesn't... It don't just mean it's just yeah. shut up, talking. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I feel like you probably have to drink for that yeah, as well. Yeah, I do. I do. But surely he's just playing this up for the camera. Oh, you'd hope so. There's no way he speaks to his parents like this on the daily. Both teens' parents have agreed to send them to America to experience strict parenting. In the early 2000s, they're going to take the gay teenage boy and send him to Alabama. Yeah, that's... Fucking hell, that (laughs) That seems like a dangerous... That is a bit mad. Might as well be sending him to Saudi Arabia. (laughs) Fucking hell. I've got another question. What what happened to this trim? You don't see anyone with this trim anymore. I feel like rightfully it went extinct, George. I I, I reckon you've asked a question that I don't want the answer to because I don't (laughs) want it coming back. Alabama, 4,000 miles away, where they'll be staying with the... 
fair, it looks more advanced than I thought it would. More advanced? What were you expecting? Like Fallout 4? Yeah, basically. Like shacks and that. You thought what? It was just going to be like a wooden hut and a man in nothing but dungarees fucking yeah, literally spitting literally holding shit. a shotgun on a rocking chair in his porch. That's how I imagine Alabama. Jesus Christ, Joe. Religious conservative family. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, send the gay guys to the religious conservative yeah, family. Yeah, again, like, I'm like, whoa. Satan wants to devour our kids. It's a very strong opening line for your on behalf of your family in it bring them into darkness so it's my job to not let him do so that. what i'm trying to work out here is is that like does that account for everyone or is it just like he really really has like it in for their kids my parents just make sure everything is appropriate for a 12 year old godly girl 12 year old godly girl i, I honestly didn't know what she said i thought she said gobbly i'm like what, what? <laughs> gobbly. yeah like goblin that's what i thought you know like a little creature i was like okay it's strange <laughs> to be fair i'm also surprised they have clothes and they're not just wearing like potato sacks Mate, I was trying to swallow some ibuprofen at that point. You can't make jokes like that when I'm trying to swallow my ibuprofen. <laughs> Nearly choked. My dad wrote up for me. It has 15 rules on there. What's he going to do if he breaks them? Is he going to sue it? Always obey all traffic laws. This includes speed limits. And then always wear your seatbelt. That's in the first rule. That is. It's a law. They control the TV they watch. I will. <laughs> wait. Have, have they got like a post-it note? I will not set before my eyes no vile thing. Is this to like deter them from watching porn or something? Yeah, like going to like up Pornhub and then you see a Bible verse beneath <laughs> it and you're like, oh no. Ah, oh, fuck. Someone's gonna raise them. It's either gonna be MTV in MySpace or it's gonna be Mark. <laughs> <laughs> this really is from the That's early 2000s. so early 2000s. Yeah, no one's worried about MTV doing shit these days. Alabama has some of the strictest state laws in America. Oh, really? Boo. Watch your step. These steps are kind of steep. I win Oh my god, yeah, that, that one, right Jesus. looks mortified. Oh my god. Wow, wow, wow. Let's just have a look at that frame again. <laughs> Wow. I reckon Satan's getting close to devouring that one. That's what it is. Satan is in him. His pupils are as large as his eyes. It's too late. She left the house for five seconds and she stopped fending off Satan and now he's gone. That was a. She didn't My need to open God. her mouth that, that wide. To Mate, say, these kids are. They Satan's are possessed already. Oh, no F bombs, uh, you know, SH. You know, a hole. The nuclear bomb of profanity for us is to take the Lord's name in vain. That's gonna be difficult. They're gonna do that, I think. I say it without thinking. I say I'm I, I, I slip up on that all the time. Yeah. Heather, you know, is, is at an age where she would probably faint if she heard, you know, that in our house. Well, that's a bit dramatic. Or she'd faint if someone went, oh my God. Mate, I'd put nothing past those kids at this point. They look like they've seen shit. Don't allow inappropriate websites and we monitor what they download. Oh, he's not gonna be able to post underwear pictures on MySpace. He's gonna be fuming. We don't allow in his home is alcohol and we don't allow smoking. This is an amnesty time. It's a time for you to go get it. No harm, no foul. Otherwise, what? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do if they if they don't bring out the ciggies? Uh, he said no smoking. He didn't say she could not own cigarettes. I don't think he's gonna accept this technicality, Jack. Uh, well, that's what I'd. Uh, if she delivers that technicality to him, as as she she goes, she goes. Um, actually, mm, her actually, you said I couldn't smoke, not have cigarettes. Oh my god! Oh, who's ah, it? Ah, 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 me! No one's gonna pass out. You're gonna kill the kids. I'm gonna get rid of those and my iPod. Um, but I'm not giving them my cigarettes. What, why the iPod? There might be um, like blasphemous music on there that, that says oh. naughty words like like frick and darn. What we're going to do now, we're going to go check your bags. Before we do that, any... Still got uh, an amnesty second chance. Um, <laughs> this is a bit dramatic, isn't it? Try and have a bit of trust for at least the first day. The Garnett children are regularly subjected to random bag checks. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, what? Go and say it like that. Like it's like fucking Gatwick Airport. Part of what she thinks we might wear outside is probably not. But what? Well, it's a swim. It's. It's for swim. What do you wear Come when swimming? Off it. You can't control what they wear. That's that's like. You know, there's a level there, surely. It even tells her it's bad for her. Smoking kills. She's like blown away that anyone could smoke. It's like it tells you on the cover. With over 300 photos on Ross's camera. That's really strange. The, the pants pictures are about to show up. Like if someone's scrolling through their camera roll on their phone to find something, oh, I don't like yeah, looking. Look I, I, like, it's it's a weird invasion of privacy. I, I don't like it when people do it in front of me because I'm like, if your cock pops up, I, <laughs> it's gonna make this really awkward. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm livid. I'm absolutely. I think that's so rude. <laughs> He's right though. He's absolutely right. You should. He's, he's in the right. I just, I, you know what? There's like a level where you, you, surely day one you try and like be like, look, like try and be friendly about it. Be like, look, I didn't think that was quite all right. But opening with I'm livid, I was like, oh, it's gonna kick off. But he deserves it. He's gone through his pictures. No, I, you know, and I get it. To be fair, I just, I just don't like. I think I'm scared of confrontation. Feet, you should have the decency to ask. Can we go for your camera, please? 
then I would quite happily agree. Oh, never mind. All right, re re actually reasonable. Nah, I'm pretty computer illiterate. Unlike at home, in the Garnet household, you'll be closely monitored. I'm sorry, what? Oh, no, what? no, 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 why agree to this? Come on. Why would the, like, I don't get why the lad's done it. That's what I don't get. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, he's fuming. <laughs> and do people ever send you messages that you find offensive? Oh, yeah. A lot of abuse messages on here telling people people telling me to go and kill myself. I've had people telling me to go and shove my fingers down my scrapey little throat and make myself sick because I'm a fat person. Oh yeah, early internet was just like yeah, let's early make everyone was fucking mental, wasn't it? Thank God nice guys like us prevailed, George. And yeah. and we're what the internet has exactly, now. Exactly, exactly. Thank God there is no website left on this planet that promotes negative There's that promotes no toxicity. more hell sites left. Every no, website is great. That just kind of broke my heart to be honest with you, to know that he's getting his esteem and his value and his worth from people he's never met. Oh, I feel called out a bit, actually. <laughs> it was a very personal jab. Hey, they're aware of, you know, the world and cussing and movie and sex and whatever the case may be. There are things we talk about. Oh, I'm, sh I'm sure the little one didn't pass out then. I'm worried for the kids because when these kids go outside into the real world, they're not going to be able to cope. You gotta bear in mind though, the real world in Alabama is a lot different to the real world in, in the UK. Yeah, you're like, you gotta like drive about 20 minutes to get to the corner shop. No, yeah, that was what I was talking about. Not the cultural differences or, or the overly religious population. I was talking about the distances to corner shops. No, but they just don't see any other people because they're That's so... true, no, you can live in your own bubble to be fair. Our net children are on their school summer holidays, but rather than laze around, they're expected to do charity work for up to a week at a time. Oh, that's cringe. I just play COD. I hope the homeless people. It's like, okay, yeah, where's my tip? <laughs> <laughs> what? Excuse me? Don't be asking homeless people for tip. <laughs> that's so good. The shelter is in downtown Birmingham. An area with high crime and unemployment. That's what I love. Well, that Birmingham there also has high crime and unemployment, as does Birmingham back here. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, Birmingham is a shithole. Ross has already given up. I've got dirt nope. on my shoes. Oh my god. I need some tissue. No one's getting me in here. I'm going myself. <laughs> right? He got a little bit of food or something on his shoes. Ross and Naomi. I'm nowhere to be seen. Oh, she gone as well. You all don't know the seriousness of, of this area here. You put your right, lives right. in jeopardy. We didn't grow very far. These people hurt people around here. They stab people. You have to think before you do things like that, Naomi. Question, after that, do you think Birmingham, Alabama is worse than Birmingham, England? I reckon we'll have, a, we'll have a Danny G still on the streets of Birmingham, UK. Yeah, then, right. yeah no, Birmingham, UK is much worse. Put that bag over here and come on here. Sorry, sorry, what do you mean? Volunteering is unpaid work. I think what the problem here is, right, usually volunteers do actually volunteer. Oh, yeah, to But be these fair. lot have been dragged into it, so it, it doesn't really come yeah, with you the... You can't really equate it to slavery. No, can you, you can't. You definitely you definitely can't, but I realise I, I realize they're not volunteering either. They're just kind of... But they're just there for a few hours. I wouldn't call it slavery, no. No, I, I really wouldn't. What just happened with those smoke with the cigarette? Naomi oh. has persuaded one of the homeless men to break the law by giving her a cigarette. <laughs> that is, that is a, she's on the hustle. A sick, mate. <laughs> Getting homeless people to give you cigarettes because the religious family took them away. That's so based. I really respect that grind. If you do not have an item you need, ask the homeless. Now he's going to have to find somewhere else to go stay. He's going to be homeless again. What the fuck? Banished him for giving a cigarette to someone. No more house. Bye bye. Yeah, that's out of order because it was my fault. So well, I should get a punishment for it, not him. You probably will. So we understood each other? Hmm? Yes. Okay. No, I, I reckon he's a bit of a knob here. Yeah, he's a bit dramatic, isn't he? He's like guilting her, like, you asked for a cigarette and now he's got a sleep on the street. She's like, I don't fucking know. He's like, no way she was going to know that by taking the cigarette off that man, he's now homeless again. Yeah, no, no way. That's just unreasonable. Like, yeah, like, say that to her and be like, usually we'd have to kick him out, but like, so don't do it again. You know what I mean? Why? Don't do it. That's evil. Do you have any earthly idea how offensive it is that you would be offended and doing work for the homeless? And B, how offensive it is for you to drop the F-bomb in their presence. To be fair, I'm sure they've heard worse. I reckon someone saying fuck is the least of a homeless person's problem. Excuse me, can I just have your attention for just a moment? Oh, he's making an Oh my god, no, oh my god, he's making him say sorry to all the homeless people for saying fuck. That's fuck, crazy. no way. I, I, just the way he worded it is when he's like, did you drop the F-bomb on all these homeless people? Ross has been working here today and an incident took place that was inappropriate. 
An incident! He said fuck! He's making it sound like he beat someone up. There's, there's an incident today and Ross stabbed somebody. Would have been what I expected. And I'm sorry that I said it in front of you and disrespected you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. He doesn't give a shit, <laughs> mate. These men are begging to be able to get into a shelter like this because there's murders on the street here every night. They banished him to a street full of murderers because he gave a cigarette to someone. Don't put that on her. That's so unfair. <laughs> he could die now because of you. Like what? She didn't know. Today, he receives a letter from home. I said this to the last... They've been there like two days. They must have sent the letter before they left. Oh, yeah, surely. Uh, yeah, Postal isn't that quick. We really liked the person you were, you were, Ross. That all changed, Ross, when you came out last year about... That all changed last year when you came out. That's that's bad. Like, the, the dad... I feel like the dad keeps pushing this. I'm like, oh, mate, that's a bad fucking outlook. The way they word things is just awful when you said that you would like to see us burn and take pictures while it happened okay that's that, that is mad that is crazy i've still got time to fix it and to learn how to apologize and try to sort my asset i'll fucking myself. speak up i was just wondering if you know where that man is he died no honestly like did he actually go through with kicking him out because that is that is mental to me man i feel like really horrible about it like, i really do yeah i really 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 do yeah we are I understand. I think I would have to if I was you. <laughs> yeah, just fucking mate, the least confident thing you could ever say. And he, and you, he kicked him out. He's a bell end. I, I, I know he runs a homeless shelter, but I think he's a bell end. Today. Went great today. Great. Yeah, uh, they were outstanding. Excellent. I just, I just love them both. I knew y'all were gonna do uh, great in terms of your work ethic and in terms of your attitude, so y'all have knocked it out. Well, let's go. Y'all ready to go? Yeah. yeah. Let's go home. I always get real sad in these moments. Why? If someone's just real nice to them when they do a good thing and you can see how giddy they get. Usually that's that's kind of the, the, the stem of all these problems. Usually just parents aren't nice enough to- <laughs> As a reward for their hard work, Mark has given Ross and Naomi permission to go bowling with Hunter. Let me just have a real quick word with you. Yeah. Fuck it out, he's Fuck shredded. Hell, he's he's dead. dead. He's wham. Fuck me, mate. That's mental. As you go out and enjoy yourselves tonight, do not forget about your responsibilities and commitment. Go on, Hunter, do a key. Do a key, Hunter. Oh, you're shit. Half an hour into their bowling evening, Ross spots the bar. Well, yeah, but the legal drinking age is 21. Like, how is he going to get a drink? Oh, Flouting yeah. the rules is his speciality. I didn't even, this one doesn't even smoke, does he? Yeah, that hasn't been established. No, yeah, what, what is he doing it for? I don't He's know. He's just doing it to, like, take the piss. <laughs> Y'all shouldn't be smoking. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Oh. Y'all shouldn't be smoking. <laughs> Imagine being that much of a nitty, by the way. You breathe in the secondhand smoke. That's crazy. That's so crazy. You're putting me in an awkward position. I mean... Sorry. It's, I mean, it's fine. I, Sorry. It's just my, my parents expect me to tell them. Uh. Oh, he's a snitch. He's a proper snitch. Oh, he looks so sheepish. Oh. Mate, if he tells right now, like instantly through the door, that's gonna make me cringe so badly. That's prime grassing posture, that is. Is that where to get in trouble? Uh, kind of. No. Oh, oh my god, her <laughs> look on her face. Oh my god! She's he's gonna fucking kill him. He's, not, he's been in 30 seconds. We had a cig. You had a cig? Both of you? Why? You don't even smoke, Ross. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That is a bad point. He just did it because he's like just trying to cause shit. And they're being nice to him as well. Like the thing is, as much as they're strict, they've actually been really nice yeah, they to are, him. Yeah, they've actually been really nice. Oh, no, I'm pissed off with Ross to be honest. I'm disappointed in him. I thought he was. Yeah. I thought he was gonna do better after. That. I really thought Ross was changing. Yeah. Oh, sh is she not gonna grass? I don't know. She's she she holding like she a might knife. They might be dead already. Hey, rules. <gasps> um. Oh, really? Oh, that was, that was an aggressive <laughs> slam. Just go ahead and just, you know, drop your pants and put it in a toilet bowl. We don't want to. Huh? That's a really weird way of saying breaking the rules. <laughs> odd analogy. Very odd. It was a couple of puffs in. But uh, that has nothing to do with it. I couldn't give two flips about the cigarette. Whoa! Oh, the, the like pseudo fucking swear words are coming out. That's bad. <laughs> yeah, bad It's bad when Christian them. people start dropping the bat, like the pseudo swears. Sorry, just dying. We're trying to do our best to show you what unconditional love looks like. And you continue to just piss it back in our face. <gasps> That's a naughty one. What? You can't say piss. That's a real, real naughty one. Uh, Americans sometimes will like randomly take things we think are swear words and just not. Yeah. I think piss is one of them. They put, actually, yeah, they said piss in regular show one time on Cartoon Network and that blew my mind. Did they? Wow. Yeah, I think I've expressed no, I do care. 
Oh! I'm dead serious. Get upstairs. Argument! George! They're like very nice people and I still like think of them as friends. It is hard to respect them just as much as I did before. <laughs> hey, they had like two puffs of a cigarette. They didn't kill someone. I really don't think they're evil. I realized that if I had to endure that day after day after day, you know, I'm not so sure I wouldn't grab the white flag and start waving it as well. They haven't really done all that much. They just had a couple puffs of a cigarette. They haven't really been all that bad. I, I kind of get where he's coming from. The, the, it's the fundamental of it, isn't it? He's just like yeah, annoyed yeah. that they just lied to him. And I'm like, you know what? I kind of get that to be fair though. It's a bit rude. Yeah. He's been nothing but nice. I feel so sick. They're making me feel ill. What? How can he see? How does he see out of that? How does he see? Yeah, look. He's got another eye, George. Yeah, but like that one's only just peeking out. Yeah, to be fair. All right, yeah, no, no, no. Functionality wise, this is not the best trim. Since her parents break up when she was 13. That's a sick pool, to be fair. It's got a diving board and a slide and everything. That's so sick. That, that is sick. Maybe we need to make firm the Alabama move. Yeah, firm. All right, yeah. I can go to church a couple of times a week if it means this. <laughs> Well, that's not very nice. They're just serving cups of piss to the homeless as if they're not going through enough. <laughs> I had enough day already and I've got to drink fucking piss. By spending quality one-on-one -on -one time with... All right, come on, mate. It doesn't need all that. Unnecessary. <laughs> He's a lovely fella, but that was just... I mean, come on now. You, you're lying to yourself. It's like using a lawnmower on a desert. <laughs> Tonight, Mark is taking Naomi out for dinner. The Garnets call it a daddy daughter day. We'll see you guys. Y'all have a great Bye. evening. Cheers. Bye. I tell you what, I reckon the little one actually did die, you know, when they said a swear word earlier, because I've not seen her for the rest of the episode. <laughs> She overheard it. You know, like in Harry Potter when Hermione sees the basilisk. And <laughs> they she's get like, petrified. Ah. It's a bit weird to go on um, something that he he calls a daddy daughter day with someone that isn't actually his, his daughter. daughter. Yeah. Yeah. No, you are just going on a date with a sixteen-year-old at that point. I like the guy, and I know his. I know and his you intentions. Like his philosophies. No, no, no. I, I know his <laughs> intentions, George. That, that's a very important thing. We were close as a family. We were. There's a lot of arguing and stuff. But I just thought they were like going through a rough patch. Argument. How is this an argument? She mentioned argument. She mentioned. She said well, the she word said, argument oh, out loud. Oh, fine, wait, it's right. been a wholesome episode. I'm really, I'm trying here. I'm trying to give the viewers what they want. When Mark asked me, Naomi, I want to go on a date with you. I was like, okay. Oh, he called <laughs> it a date? <laughs> <laughs> nah, reasonable though. Very reasonable response. Mark's personal experience has taught him how difficult the teenage years can be. I, I drank to excess. I developed a dependency on alcohol. That sounds so lit. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Cheers. Fucking hell. He opens up about his like alcoholism and George's like, yeah, sesh demon. Oh, they're going fishing. Oh, that looks unreal to be fair. I know. I, I love a bit of fishing. I went fishing once and it was actually quite sick. I was on a boat and I, I fished on a boat. It was sick. Oh, I've never done boat though. I want to do boat. Oh, I, I love fish. When Hunter turned 16, Mark took him away for the weekend to talk about sex and purity. Oh, well. <laughs> a whole weekend? <laughs> How much have you got to go over? Mate, this guy's like an encyclopedia <laughs> of sex. Mate, he's laying a crazy pipe. He's got a fucking weekend worth of sex tips. Everything there is to cover. Every single, like, kink or whatever. That could be summed up in, like, an hour, surely. Yeah, mate, mate I could give you everything I know in about 10 minutes. I could, I could give it in 10 seconds. <laughs> in order to, to talk about really, really important subjects. Like dicking down. I mean, that is essentially what they were. That is essentially the, the reason why they went away to talk about, you know. But he's taking that one out there to talk about sex. I, I hope. I've never been in a relationship longer than that month and two weeks. Sorry, <laughs> going a month and two weeks, like counting. <laughs> a month, two weeks, one day and three hours. It's really rare that anybody makes a meaningful meeting and, and has a meaningful relationship through the internet. Oh, really? Is that so, Mr. Genius? Yeah, well, explain that to my numerous successful e-relationships. Fucking hell. All right, show off. The little one is actually dead. They've killed her with swear words. She did not show up once. Mark has one final request for Ross. Email me those pictures. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, Tell me, I, I, I've grown a bond with Mark at this point. Where I actually am like getting personally offended when you accuse him. I'm, I'm, like, actually I'm making a off. joke. I'm making a joke. Oh, she's back. And I'll tell you one last thing. I would be proud to have you as my son. He wasn't really your son. I think you're taking this show a little bit too literally. I, I, you know, George, I think he's nice. I actually he is nice, him. but he is taking the show a little bit too literally. It's, it's moving these people emotionally, George. You just don't like joy. I think that's what it no, is. Like, you're right. I, I absolutely despise joy. It's been hard, but it's... It's been worth it. So are they healed now then? Are they not going to be dickheads no more? I don't know. Uh, probably. I hope they don't get on like pure sesh when they go home. That's not right. They're Christian now. They've got to be. I missed you. I missed you too. Did you? I did. 
I'll tell you what though, I'd be so upset if I had to go back to a UK house after being in one yeah, of those houses in Alabama like, for a week. Yeah, mega house with a swimming pool and everything, I'd be mortified. Yeah, you know what, I'd start acting up again, it wouldn't work on me. It's like, you know, like when you put like a, like a lion in a cage. That'd be me in a UK house after being in a big Alabama house. Where's your fucking pool? <laughs> Dig me a pool! Well, thank you for joining me, Jack. On to the next episode. James, today we're watching an episode of World's Strictest Parents. <laughs> And now, James, you don't drink because you are a coward, but... Yes, I'm a pussy. That's well well documented these days. But your job is to make me drink every time there is an argument. Fuck me, George. That's got to be a lot of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> the world's strictest parents. How strict were your parents, George? I was only allowed chocolate cereal on weekends. <laughs> That's not Puerto Rico. No, it's hassocks. Why did they like pan to Puerto Rico? I think that's because where they're, they're, they're going is. Oh, okay. What's the point in going out and just being sober? Me, three years ago. <laughs> Do you miss this era when we would just do loads of shots? I feel as though with my current 25-year-old body, it would kill me. Right now, it's like my time to go crazy, really. No, no. no. <laughs> Why are you speaking of fucking cursive, dude? <laughs> no, I'm gonna, oh, no. She's either lovely or she's vile. George, she should try hitting her. She should. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that's not. That's, <laughs> that's not from, an by, I can reclaim that joke. All right. I can... <laughs> that's very deep for we watch, James. She's called me the C word a few times. Come. She's called you come. The, usually the fat C word. <laughs> she called me the fat come. I didn't mean to offend you. She stopped. It's, a, it's an argument, by the way, George. Just so yeah. You know. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 That necklace looks like a dog collar. Yeah, you're right. It looks like the one you have like a like an XL bully on. Do you have an XL bully? But your mum sometimes comes over, so. Great, thank you. Things got much worse at home when Rosie's mum and dad suffered marital problems. Why do you have a piece of art that says cappuccino? Is that just for <laughs> if you forget the name of your coffee while you're having it? <laughs> no, it's decor, James. Your mum would have flat white <laughs> to remind her of what she is. <laughs> Thanks, James. Your mum would have fat cow to... <laughs> I would say a master manipulator at the tender age of 16. She's my baby and I can't bear her being hurt. It's really, really wounded her. Christ, she's about 20. She's no longer a child. No, she's 16, they just said, James. She's 16. And they filmed her having cigarettes and alcohol. Yeah, I mean, early 2000s Britain was very different. Just before my 14th birthday is when I'm not stopped going to school. <laughs> what? What, can you just, just do that? Just like you, George. <laughs> no, I stopped going to school at 15. <laughs> I actually did. I stopped going to school at 15, but it wasn't because like I was like well smart or, or well stupid. It was uh, because I was just one of the youngest in my year. Nick Bariantos may be 18, but he acts more like a boy than a man. Jesus, pull your brat. Well, they're, they're, they're very nice parents. Not even a queen of England can tell me what to do. Well, she can't anymore, lad. Don't worry <laughs> about that. Nick's hiding a secret from his mum and stepdad, Christian. Smoking marijuana is his favourite pack. <laughs> so he does it on national television instead. When he was a baby, she fled Colombia to escape from gang violence. But she refused... <laughs> That's not funny, James. It came out of fucking nowhere, dude. He just got <laughs> hit with the biggest fucking sidebar of all time. And maybe if this little sh this little rat knew what his mother went through, he would not he would stop smoking so many drugs. How about that? I never have spoken to Nicholas about why I'm here. Right, so you do it on national television in front of millions of people What's instead. What's happening? This is the lack of communication in British culture manifest. You know what I mean? We all have one conversation with our dad over our lives where the dad goes, and I'm not very happy and that's the only time you ever hear your dad ever admit emotion oh that's a rough t-shirt yeah, that, mate. Is, that rough, is that man, rough that is. why is he flipping up a polo man this is the early two you know when people are like oh man y2k fashion was so sick this is what real y2k fashion is yeah the British teen. Oh, mate. I could I could be... Okay, I'm not going to say what I was about to say. Say what you're about to say. I was going to say I could be brutally punished by anyone here, but then I realised that would just come across a little bit horny. I, you would like to go to this place. <laughs> yeah, essentially, George. <laughs> what I wanted to say was I'd like to go here, but I, I don't know... <laughs> I went down the See, that's how I describe feed. when I want to go on holiday somewhere. Man, I could be brutally punished by anyone in the Maldives. Side to side now. Hard. Put something back into it. Damn, he's assertive. Did you hear that? We won't allow them to have dinner, for instance, if they don't have their chores done. Okay, withholding food is a bit mental. Yeah, that is a bit mad. Having a hard-working mentality isn't that strict. 
Is it? No, I mean, I, I'm guessing if he's making... I don't know, it depends on what they're making him do. If they're making him, like, lay bricks and shit, then maybe it is. I'm wondering how he can even see him. <laughs> That's very true. Right yes, I get it, Joe. It's very good. Well done. Rebellion in the... Where is he? Arrive in Puerto Rico's capital city, San Juan. They're really butchering these names. Oh, actually, how is it pronounced? San Juan. Right, do you think the British presenter is going to do that on BBC3? Uh, realistically, The teenagers he's going... are now in San Juan. Although Spanish is the first language, it is part of the United States. Puerto Rico, okay, it's in the midpoint. It's not quite. Is it one of the states, technically? I mean, I've never heard it. I don't think it is, because I can name all 50 states. Is it like a dependency or something? Like It's Jersey? neither a sovereign nation nor a US state. It's the free associated state of Puerto Rico. So it's like, what, so it's like Jersey and Guernsey? It lacks certain rights, but enjoys certain benefits that other states have or lack. That's confusing. Bordering a 28,000 acre rainforest, the El Zunke. That's, that looks fucking nice, that. That's my son, Edward. My daughter, Jer Stephanie. I want to see how they're sta how are they approaching them. Oh, they just sat down. I thought they'd be, like, stood in a line and saluting. <laughs> I just want a cigarette. You've been there five minutes. Nine-year-old Jeremy. Yo, what? That's insane. That's an insane Lego collection. Daddy's a lawyer. I'm free, I want a cigarette. So do I. Yeah, they're so addicted. That's me, but with Candy Crush. I just need to, I need to play some Candy Crush. Our house. Thank you. Will be. Uh, he was giving, like, he has a name for his house. Like, Casa Azul, you know? Right, Casa Azul. Because they're wearing blue. Right. The more you resist the more we're gonna push. And the less we're gonna feed you. That's also just a mental thing to say. What I said about being punished on this island, <laughs> I would like to take that back. <laughs> you better don't resist. If you resist, Hmm. That's terrifying. I'm on an island <laughs> in the middle of the forest. And I'm being told to just go easy. Just take it. That's what I've been yeah. doing. Yeah. Oh my god. No smoking, <clears throat> cigarettes, or tobacco. During your entire stay in Puerto Rico. Oh, that's well out of order. <laughs> Anytime they're in the country, <laughs> we will find you. <laughs> they like come back in their 30s. They're just like being chased around with knives. Hey, I'm a lawyer. I'm gonna have you guys sign this uh, this set of rules. <laughs> He's a, he just went, I'm a lawyer. I'm gonna have you sign this. What are you gonna do? Sue them if they have a seat? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the threat? So you guys aren't gonna sign the contract because of this? Yeah. No, I can't do it. Sorry. To be fair, what does he do then? Like, what, what can he do then? This is when they get murdered on national television. Who's gonna find the bodies? And I'm also going into Nick's room. Nick's case. Is she crying because they, they said you can't have cigarettes? Not my ciggies! <laughs> He's in floods of tears. The shock of his rules has driven Rosie and Nick to light up. That is the most <laughs> <laughs> instantly go and smoke. He's looking for the sickies when they're just on them. You have to own respect. You can't just not. I don't know. I don't know who the f is. Oh my god! Cry about it. You've got your cigarettes. The teens think they've won a victory, but Ed has other ideas. Would you like one? <laughs> Yeah, all ready. Respect no, 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 has no, no, no. to be earned. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh, doing? Oh, yes. What the fuck are you Snapped. doing? Snapped. You got into his house, got out for a singing, and gone, respect has to be earned to this guy <laughs> whose house you're staying in. Just like a big fuck you. 18 years old. 18. I am legally allowed to smoke this. Me. You have respect for me, I'll give you respect. That's how I work. Kind of real. Yeah. That's He's 18. If he says you can't smoke a in my house or around my house, that's valid. Listen to me. I will kill you if you smoke another <laughs> cigarette. <laughs> I will I will starve you, motherfucker. You will not smoke. <laughs> Inside of the house. To be fair, that, that's that's quite fair of him. He's being quite fair in that regard. He's being good. That's good. He's he's heard them out and they've and reached a midpoint. We have an understanding, and I expect that you guys will do all right. Okay. This is good. Yeah. Again, let's begin. Pass it down. I bet it's fucking good food as well. Oh yeah. Nick, you have hobbies. I don't really do much other than like get high. <laughs> Same man. <laughs> <laughs> Me and one of my other friends that like, could like go through like five bottles of wine. Well, this is they're just they're getting to the root of the issues already. That's just me and you in 2019. Yeah. <laughs> my mum, she like got taken to court because she couldn't make like she couldn't drive me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think he just had a. They're not in here with us. We're in here with them. <laughs> moment. He's out of his depth. I can't even explain how different they are to my parents. Do you like them? 
No, not really. To be fair, he, he's not been that bad. He's just gone, please don't smoke in the house. Yeah, I think they're trying to deep it. Maybe the producers have told them to deep it a little bit. Like, that didn't seem that shit. I would happily be raised by the... This is like no comparison. Un unreasonable. Yeah, right. They've actually been really reasonable. What you want to... I love yeah. the cat in the hat toy just on its face in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Tag yourself, I'm the cat in the hat. <laughs> Fucking hell, long day. Making a cup of coffee and get dressed. He's making him cups of coffee and everything. Wow. That's so nice. Nick and Rosie will be attending Bonneville. Oh, imagine working or going to school here. It would be so nice. But uh, you would you would have to go to Bonneville school. <laughs> imagine that. Every time I walk through, I would just giggle. Every, it's <laughs> funny because every every time you go to a school, it is kind of like Bonneville. <laughs> <for you. laughs> no, it's not. Let's get into school. Still hasn't tucked his shirt in. We don't allow any glasses. And sunglasses in any moment. Don't allow any glasses. What if you need glasses? Yeah, no, sorry, George. We, we're going to have to take, yeah, them right, let's take them off. No weapon, knives, guns, etc. No guns? What the fuck? No. Fu oh, they're so unreasonable, George. What do you do on your weekends? Get wrecked. Yes, lad. Come on. Me in 2014, we're making montage parody videos. Get wrecked. <laughs> Being rude to teachers, fighting, smoking on school premises. What a legend. Fucking yes, mate. Drugs and listen to music. If I were you, I wouldn't do that, mate. <laughs> if I were you, I would. Is that a threat? Me, whenever I hear someone doing drugs. Man, if I were you, I wouldn't do that. If you smoke weed one more time, <laughs> you'll have me to answer to. <laughs> Your life, you can have so much future and you don't using drugs, man. <laughs> <laughs> the reaction's unreal. I think Nick and Rosie do have a lot of freedom. But I think it's like they use it in like, wrong ways. That man is 30 years old. Yeah, no way is that man in secondary school. Headmistress Mrs. Ruiz spots the teens flouting the rules. It's not even like they're doing anything fun. They're just sat on like a, a wall. The producers have definitely told them to just sit there. What are your expectations when you grow up? Or when you're a man? And you I'm, not family, about, huh? I'm not thinking about the future yet. You're I don't not want thinking a family. about your future? You're 18. Yeah, he, he is in his adulthood he now. He is an adult. Like, what? I know, I am, but I don't need to think about it right now. Excuse so me? So I'm not going to... I mean, you do. You're 18. Have they been he kicked out? Away from work no, the dad's... Look, he's been from summoned. School. Yeah, no. I'm not. I'm not going to... No, no, You're not gonna what? I can't understand what she's saying. No, neither can I. No, no. It sounds like she's holding her nose while speaking. British teens are permanently excluded. Their school <laughs> They've only been there about an hour. <laughs> yeah, mental. That's a that's a speed run. It's got to be a world record for getting permanently suspended. So when Rosie wanders off to swap mobile numbers, it's the final straw. How has she already made? It's been one. It's been like one hour. How has she already she made a friend? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Making a friend speed run. Hey, no, no. What are you doing, man? Leave him alone. No, no don't worry, man. Just leave. He's, he's a bit crazy. Did you just see? Yes. A, did you just see? Yeah. Yeah, I did. What? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What? <laughs> I love that. He's a bit crazy. Okay, in fairness, what is he? Why is he going up to some random child and having a go at them for? Yeah. Interacting and becoming friends. Yeah, I, do, I, I don't know. Oh, and you have to drink. Life goes on. It's just a word. Jeez. He's. <laughs> he is. No, we didn't die on that hill, lad. Already kicked out of school. It's impressive. It is. I would be genuinely impressed if I took in like two unruly children and they got kicked out within the space of two hours. Yeah, if my kids do that, I'll be proud of them. Just a bunch of spoiled brats, that's what they are. <laughs> Just starts cussing them <laughs> out. He was being rude to Rose. I and I don't care. Rude no, no you Rose. was. You were yeah. shouting at her like she was a seven-year-old little girl and I'm not going to stand for that. To be fair, she did get excluded. She did get excluded within two hours. It was pretty ridiculous the way she acted. I don't think it, 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 she, he is right though. You shouldn't shout at someone, especially one that you just don't know them. Yeah, but they got excluded within two hours. Like, there's no <laughs> smoke without fire, James. You're just looking after me. That's it. You're not my parents. You're not my mum. You're not my you dad. Yeah. Well, I mean, he is right. You're not. The, you're not his parents. Yeah. And there are going to be consequences to breaching those covenants. I'm going to sue you because you. <laughs> you say, I'm going to get your parents' house taken Lifetime away. Lifetime in jail. I've been doing it for seventeen years. Yeah, I don't know it. how I'll come to England and you'll see a whole new different light on me. I'm going to be real. If I had the option of living in Puerto Rico or England. You're picking Puerto Rico, yeah, right? Obviously. You'd never. I think the only people that would be stupid enough to pick England are some English people. You will help out and you will 
help out. I like that. The second one really added something there. Rosie is intent on leaving, but there's nowhere to go. Why is she walking to the airport on the other side yeah. of the country? See you later, Rosie. The nearest neighbor is over a mile away through a tropical <laughs> rainforest. <laughs> Oh my god, Rosie's about to fucking die. You know when you play like Roller Coaster Tycoon and you just drop yeah. someone into a field somewhere? Due to the dangers important. She's taking a chair. Open the gate. Ask me. She is fucking horrible, isn't she? This is terrifying. If you all of a sudden you just started getting ignored when you can't leave somewhere. Still, where the fuck is she going? She's not going to go anywhere. Like it's far more dangerous out there than it is in the house. You come and open the gate. Please, Dad. This is you, man. He's so you coded. <laughs> what do you mean? Sitting on his balcony, not a care in the world. <laughs> no one could leave. Why won't you open the gate? Because you have nowhere to go. What do you mean? You're not going to go anywhere. He's not going to release you into the wild. Look at their attitude. Look at their. Are they going to try to steal a car? No way. They're smash through the gate. Oh, they're smoking in their. That's just fucking horrible. That's just rude. She can have a tantrum. They're ashing in the car. They are preventing them from leaving. Well, yeah, but James, where are they going to go? It's going to be like, if they get let out there, there's like all kinds of creepy crawlies and stuff out there. But it would be such an interesting end to the episode, just watching them survive. It would be, but he would know? literally, he would get in trouble if he let them out of the gate because they would yeah. probably die. Ed defeats Rosie. Yet again. That's mad. <laughs> it's mad they went through all that. He didn't even have to prevent her from doing it. The lawyer, the mastermind. No, listen. I'm done with you. How do you expect me? To he's he's not even acting strict. He's just acting avoidant. This guy is actually like really. F I like this guy. He's just he's just chill. He's just fair. No, I am truly sorry. I really regret speaking to you the way I did, and it was completely uncalled for. <laughs> the fucking stare. The shirt. He cannot be killed. I can't believe he's still talking to me after the way I spoke to him. Really. Oh, this is it. They're they're having the they're having the moment where they all like like each other, and it's all gonna end nicely. I don't I don't appreciate you trying to be my dad because I've got quite bad father issues, and it just it's not helping me. You went on a show called World's Strictest Parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm beginning to see a connection. I am in no way, shape, or form trying to... This is such a, a, a terrifying angle. You feel beneath him. To ensure the teens play by the rules, he decides to put them to work around the house. Fuck okay, out, where'd they go? Yeah, I can't fucking see him, George. That's never gonna get old, get old, that little joke we have. Okay, so this is the thing now. They're doing the work. Yeah. They're gonna be accepted back into the family then they'll go home change none of their behaviors i want to know what they're doing now george oh yeah that to be fair they're probably like in their late 30s this must be about 20 years old the shirt says mr lazy but on the inside he's a strong and valiant man i know it i'm, I'm sure is that's it? true <laughs> the doubt in her <laughs> voice you have your mom i don't have mine but I'm grateful for what I have. God, they're really putting him through the ringer now, aren't they? What would it be? What would it, what would it be like if you didn't have parents? My mum got shot because of me. Yeah, I thought I've always thought that it was my fault. And God, this has turned into a very different TV show, yeah, George. Yeah, it has. Now Marta helps him pluck up the courage to ask his mother the truth. That is a horrific shirt, for the record. Yeah, that is... Horrendous. Yeah. What would you do if I rocked up to the function in the Hop t-shirt? If you do that, I will pay for it. So <laughs> if you ever wear it, you can send me a receipt of how much it cost. I will pay for it. If my biological dad shot you, and was it my fault? Different way. Hi, Mum. Was it, was it my biological dad that shot you? Was it my fault? Uh, been a while. <laughs> Uh, when you got fucking shot. This is, this is a lot different from any of our other reactions, <laughs> It's been pretty sad for the last 10 minutes or so. Today, he's taking her to a drug rehabilitation center. <laughs> Why are you here? Uh, because I was a drug addict. <laughs> what did you expect? <laughs> Why are you in rehab? Fancied it. Weekend out. Do you, I do think I'm different because, like, 
I know when to stop. You just said earlier that you drink until you pass <laughs> out. What what are you? Tiny temper? She she listens really hard, you know, and she she Yep, interesting that. shot. Yep. Thanks for that. Drinking like really that. lingered. Stop it, man. Have you ever had a ketchup sandwich? That's just like him. Ketchup sandwich? Or just two that bits of horrendous. bread with ketchup? I got some fucking Nutella earlier. I'm gonna have a Nutella sandwich later. That, okay, that, that that's fine. Nutella sandwich is fine. Ketchup sandwich? Ugh. Rough, yeah. Well, there they go. Back to the... Motherland. Back to the Holy Land. West Sussex. I wonder if they're, they're, they're still kicking about. I bet, I bet they both have TikTok accounts. Probably. I smoked a lot of weed and I... I, I promise you, from this point onwards, I will make you proud. Promise you that. He didn't say he'd stop. <laughs> he did say I'm gonna stop smoking. Because that could go both ways. I can make you proud by smoking more weed. You know, like I could be the top blazer. You'll go crazy at the sheer amounts of cannabis that I can inhale. You know. I'm so proud, darling. Well, there you go. There we go. World strictest parents. It's just like average early 2000s English show, isn't it? Yeah. It's just that. Um, like and subscribe.